You know what we avocado farmers talk about a lot? Beetles. And I don't mean John, Paul, Ringo, and that other guy. We talk about ambrosia beetles. Why? Because they're killing our trees. George Harrison. Man. I should have known that. They named a street after him in my hometown, Harrison Avenue. I'm standing underneath a tree that is infected with a disease called laurel wilt. Laurel wilt is a disease caused by an invasive fungus that rides on the neck of an invasive beetle. By invasive, I mean non-native to the United States. The fungus rides on the back of the ambrosia beetle. The ambrosia beetle flies around until it finds a tree it wants to infest. It burrows its way into the tree, the fungus becomes introduced to the tree, and then the tree actually kills itself. You see, the way a tree's immune system works, when it detects an infestation, an infection, something like that, the tree cuts off nutrients to that part of itself. So picture if I had a, a little infection here on my finger and my body cut off the nutrients, my finger would die, fall off, so would the infection with it and the rest of the tree would be fine. But this fungus spreads so fast that the tree continually chokes itself and chokes itself lower and lower till the tree chokes itself off completely. Laurel wilt is easy to spot. Your tree actually dies right before your very eyes. Here's a branch that's dying from laurel wilt. Many of the leaves are already brown. The green leaves are starting to droop and turn brown. And within a couple of days, this entire tree will be brown, all the fruit will fall off, and it will be dead. Now a lightning strike, a broken branch, other types of insect infestations will also turn a branch or two brown. But the reason I know this is laurel wilt is the characteristic burrow holes from the ambrosia beetle. This is a wax-like material that the beetle secretes and it mixes with sawdust and comes out the side of your trunk. As soon as you see these signs, you gotta cut this tree down, rip out the stump, and burn it. If you don't, not only will the beetles jump from tree to tree bringing the disease, but it will also spread underground through the root grafts. Yep, that's right, all these trees are intertwined. I don't know what kind of crazy avocado sex party they got going on down there. And if you don't believe me, take a look at this growth. The owners of this place are neglecting to deal with laurel wilt. I watched one tree become infected a few months ago, and little by little, I've watched it spread throughout the grove. Which is why as soon as I spot laurel wilt, the tree comes down. Tomorrow, we'll bring out the backhoe, and that'll just be a big hole. And the day after that, it'll be a smoking pile of ash. And for the next couple of months now, we gotta keep our eye on this tree and this one here, the two on either side of the infected tree, to make sure that nothing spread through the root system before I cut it down. I think we got to it in time. As you can see, there was still a lot of green left on this tree, a lot of nice fruit. Broke my heart to cut it down, but it's what you gotta do. And now you see what was once a beautiful avocado tree is now a big burn pile. But we gotta get it out of here because so far, there's no way to cure laurel wilt. There's no way to prevent it. The only thing we have is detection and containment. But that's all part of being an avocado farmer. Laurel wilt is not the only thing that threatens our trees. They get blown down by wind, they get struck by lightning. There's other types of beetles and moths and things like that that make them sick. And when you have a tree that's gotta go, it's gotta go. And then you plant a new one. Just this morning I was on the phone with the nursery and I ordered a shipment of new trees. And I can't wait to get those little guys in the ground. So that in a few years, they'll be producing beauties like this. So I'm gonna end it here. I still have a few hours of work to do before the sun goes down. But I should be back next week with another video, probably a fishing video. We'll see you then.